Hi, welcome to this video of our IDOT controls available from brands of systems including PowerAmp, Meguiar, and DLM loading dock equipment. These IDOT controls uh, come standard with any light communication package from those brands, often with a vehicle restraint, uh, interlocked with a dock leveler, and uh, door controls as well. In this example, you'll see that we actually have buttons for those three units, uh, as well as optional guide lights. The size and buttons uh, of the IDOT controls will vary based on what equipment you have installed in your facility. Uh, this particular demo unit is currently controlled to our center air dock leveler uh, and has a unilock vehicle restraint. And for the door, we have a LiftMaster Logic 5 door operator connected to it for this demonstration. First, you'll see on the outside of the IDOT controller are these membrane dome buttons. So the membrane dome buttons, first of all, gives you a clean surface on the IDOT controllers. So it's very easy to wipe down, uh, make sure it's any debris doesn't get in any crevices on there. Uh, but also the longevity of the technology of these buttons uh, is meant to last for the lifetime of your equipment. Uh, it doesn't have as much wear and tear on there uh, as you would see from uh, older style buttons. So for the light communication, you'll see that on the IDOT controller itself, you currently see a red X on the interior of the building. This would then be in opposition of the exterior where you'll see a green light on the outside of the building, letting the truck driver know that he can back up to the dock and interior letting the dock personnel know uh, it's not yet safe to proceed. Once the trailer is in position and is safely restrained to the dock, uh, the lights will then change to a green circle on the inside of the building and a red light on the exterior of the building. Again, letting the truck driver know now that he cannot pull away from the docks and inside letting the dock personnel know that it's safe to proceed with loading or unloading. Uh, another unique thing with our IDOT controllers is we do have a third color and shape, which is an amber triangle. Uh, this is used while things like the restraints are in the process of engaging or if you're in bypass mode, it'll be a triangle and green circle in uh, opposition with each other, just letting people know to proceed uh, with caution. Um, with the, the different controls on here of the equipment, a nice advantage of having these all on one unit is that you can interlock everything together uh, for more of a, a safe operation. And what I mean by that is uh, I cannot operate the leveler until the vehicle is uh, restrained. The restraint is in a secure position. Uh, same thing, you can tie them in with the door. So you might want to say uh, the door cannot be opened until the restraint is engaged. There is a variety of different sequence of operations that you can program in with these IDAP controls, making them unique for your particular uh, application. In addition to interlocking your equipment, as I mentioned, the vehicle restraint might need to be put into bypass mode due to a rear impact guard being missing or damaged. And in that case, um, what will happen is the restraint will go up to try to engage it. It will drop down. It will notify the dock personnel uh, that the restraint is not engaged. You can then choose to press enter to go into bypass mode, which as I mentioned, will make an alternating um, amber triangle and green circle, letting them know to proceed with caution. You can also go into bypass mode by going into the menu and going into operating mode. Uh, to do this bypass mode, you can either allow them to change it just by pressing enter, or you can have a three digit passcode that maybe is only available to the management on the floor. Next, let's go into the message display. This is something that's unique on an IDOC controller. You don't often find this with other loading dock equipment. Uh, the message display is great to have information for your dock personnel for operating the equipment as well as maintenance information, usage of your dock equipment, really everything to keep your operations running smoothly. Uh, so before I get into the menu, first let's talk about the operations of your equipment. I already mentioned that the message display will help with bypass mode and letting you know what the position of the restraint is. Uh, but additionally, for any button that is pressed, say outside of the sequence of operation, it will notify you of what button you need to press next. This makes it easier for your personnel. If you have turnover of employees and training new employees, it makes it easier for anybody to really operate the equipment without trying to understand, oh, what button do I need to press on here? As I go into the menu, 
First, you'll see there are information for equipment and system information on here. This is information about what equipment you have installed, uh, possibly what the serial numbers are of those, and just letting you know uh, what you have if you're calling in for tech support for uh, any possible issues that may occur over the lifetime of the equipment. Uh, you can use this when you're on the phone. As we go into counters and maintenance, uh, this is great for either your personnel or if you have a maintenance contract with a local dealership. Um, the maintenance uh, will give you uh, the ability to see any faults that may have occurred with the equipment so you can easily troubleshoot uh, any issues. Um, it also allows you to log your maintenance on there and then get a notification on the message display uh, up to 90 days later when you want to perform another planned maintenance. This helps you uh, keep the maintenance up to date and just running smoothly. Those counters will let you know uh, how many times the leveler has ran, the vehicle restraint has been engaged, uh, whatever equipment you have installed based on the, the sensors that you have there. Uh, so that will vary based on the equipment that you have. But again, really helps with understanding the usage and wear and tear on your equipment uh, over time. The last section on here is your settings. Uh, this is more so programmed usually in the field by the installer or at the factory about the date and time uh, and information for connectivity of your uh, IDOT controller. Taking a look at the inside of the IDOT controller, I will take you through the various components. Uh, first of all, on the back side of the face of the IDOT controller, you'll see this red aspect is the, the main board. So this is really the brains of the operation. And then you'll see the light and the message display on there. Uh, coming to the inside, you'll see are the terminal boards. Uh, so in this particular example, we have a large terminal board and expansion terminal board above that. And then you have your power controls over here. On this example, I do also have, as I mentioned, a Centra Air dock leveler connected to this that's operating off of compressed air. So that's the hoses you see running in on here. So this will vary based on the equipment that you have installed on here. Uh, the point is with the IDOC controller is that it's built with a modular design. And so if something malfunctions over the lifespan of this and you have to replace it, uh, you really only need to replace that individual component. Uh, a lot of other dock equipment, you might have to replace the entire controller, whereas in this, if say the light goes out or there's something that uh, malfunctions in a terminal board, you can replace that individual component of there. So saving you some money over the lifetime of this as you keep your maintenance up to date on its wear and tear. Lastly, an advantage with these IDOT controls is that they can be connected online to MyQ Dock Management. Uh, to connect them online, you simply install one of these IDOC gateways uh, anywhere close to the proximity of the IDOC controllers. And that will connect to the cloud either through uh, cellular data, uh, your facility Wi-Fi, or any LAN connection you might have available. The advantage of, advantage of connecting this online to MyQ Dock Management is that then you get analytical data online of the real-time status of your docks. You can look at historical data about past loading dock equipment to help improve your efficiencies and your overall operations. You can also receive texts or email alerts of any events that happen at your docks, such as when a truck arrives, a truck's been sitting for too long, a door is left open, a variety of things to really help with your operations. Any IDOC controller can be connected online to MyQ Dock Management. Um, we also have IDOC links that are available uh, for existing legacy equipment that wants to be connected to MyQ Dock Management as well. To learn more about the advantages of our IDOC controls or to discuss the options and pricing for your particular application, visit us online at loadingdocsystems.com or call us at 800-643-5424 and we'll get you in touch with a local regional representative.